What's happening? What's going on, my ladies and gentlemen? On this discussion, we're going to be talking about involved. What did you get involved into? And let's talk about it. Look around. Look at the people you hanging with right now. If you want to roll, look at history, look at school, family, look at your neighborhoods. What are you involved into? And what did you do intentionally? Did you keep doing what you're doing intentionally? Are you flip-flopping, serving different gods? One minute you serve Jesus, next minute you're doing you. Then it's all over again the next week. Go to church on Sunday. Then when you get out that same day, you back to yourself. All type of stuff. You being phony. What are you doing? What are you involved into? Because some people will tell you, man, man. That stuff don't mean nothing to me. Like when you try to bring up, you know, situations. Oh, well, that's their problem. But think about everything else you don't got involved into. You don't got involved into rituals. Didn't even know it. Listening to music. Rituals. Listening up, doing all of this type of stuff. These ri Don't even know it. Hanging out with people. Just doing a lot of worldly stuff. But just don't even, don't even know it. But, and then what make it even worse is people will intentionally, secretly involve they self in messing good people up around the world. Now they're trying to do a little bit for Jesus. The little that they can. So it makes, which, which brings to the conclusion that these people are just unhappy people. Because some of these folks have everything. Like they're not really needing for anything. They just want to see you need. For the stuff that they feel at heart. So what did you what did you involve yourself into? For example, there's different types of spiritual powers for every nation. Just so happen black people, we have the, the power called people voodoo. Then you have different nations which are Mexicans, Spanish, Caucasian people, etc. All these nations is different names. We just always been exposed the most, so our words and stuff like that just stick out a little more. People will say, well, I use some that stuff to get out of school or college for my kid's life, for my life, or, or what have you. All right, all right, now watch this. Now that you're older, now that time has passed, what did you constantly keep doing? Did you constantly keep secretly Messing up the people and the world. Did you use your gifts and your talents to do better? Think about it. Do it out. Do the, do your good outweigh your evil stuff that you've been doing all of these all of this these years. Think about all of the evil before people judge people like me. Think about how much evil you do in one one day versus people like me. See, for you, for you look at folks, you got to look at what's the possibilities of the other stuff that they're doing. See, if you're serving false gods and all of these things, which is number one, don't serve anything outside of Jesus. And I don't understand, not even to this day, how all these other false gods have their own statues. They get movies, games, but people who follow Jesus, they get nothing. Jesus don't even get a real body. The black Jesus. Always been second to last. Or just last. And not, not just that. Every, anyone who recognized the truth after a while. All nations know Jesus. Demons know Jesus. Satan know Jesus. They just chose to do the opposite. They chose to do otherwise. Because they wanted to get involved. Into other stuff. Bring other people down. So all the enemy here to do is to get you involved and bring you down. As if I ever been involved in the stuff that other people are doing out here. With crap, voodoo, powers, all of that. Going against what Jesus spiritually told and tell me. Fool, people are, are fooled nowadays. They don't understand. And some folks just don't care to understand. 
Don't even watch these type of messages if you don't care to understand. Like I say, I'm, I'm not perfect. I try not to even use violence doing these topics. Not one topic how I've used violence. Words, so-called for, for people that want to say curse words is a curse. We all know it's a curse. Families is a curse. That kept rotating. Passed on. They kept doing voodoo and witchcraft. Passed down to other people. That's how they got jobs. Got out of school. Etc. Etc. To get to where they at. Then once they got to where they at. They felt comfortable. So they say in order to stay where they at. They got to keep bringing Satan's souls. They got to keep doing stuff. To stay where they at. To do evil. And then they talk all of this stuff and say. Oh, we're doing this for the people. The world making the world a better place. You're lying. Tell people how you really feel. I'm telling people how I really feel. Because you have all the millions. I'll be honest with y'all folks. Even if I probably had millions at this point in life, I probably wouldn't even be happy because of all of the information that I already got out and all of the hate that I would secretly get from people behind the scenes. That's the way it goes. So people who were born into these family curses didn't have a choice. Some of y'all celebrities didn't have a choice. Then there's regular people around the world that were in similar situations that didn't have a choice. So you look, think worldwide, folks. People don't even make it to the cameras. Just having the camera is a blessing to be able to tell your side of the story. Even though God already know both sides of the story. You know, as one people, man, don't get involved into the to the to the wrong people, the wrong things. Don't call everybody your friend. Some people are only there when negative stuff is going on in your life. People will wait till you hit rock bottom. These same folks who hid and all of this stuff all these years, and wait till you doing bad. That's the only time they do. You ever had you? Most of your friends is like that. Pretending to help you pick you up because they feeding off of your energy that they secretly putting you through. They secretly putting you through this stuff so they can feed off of it. Pretend that they helping you. But at the same time, they sleep good at night. Some people are good actors. That's why Hollywood have actors to cry, to do all of these things because they're acting. Same way it is in Hollywood. It's the same way it is in the real world. Some people show up to their own people funeral, own child funeral, crying, and that had them killed. You wouldn't even know. You're like, oh, he or she crying. No, those are tears out of, man, I done messed up. I know I'm done in the sight of Jesus. So people, you know, just don't be into these things, man. You, even if it take you longer. To get to where you at. Or if you never get to where you at. Don't sell out. To evil stuff. Because people will talk. Different things in your head. Remember they very clever. They very manipulative. I'm not telling you to join anything. No organization. I'm not telling you to sign your. your nothing on no paper. I'm telling you to gain a relationship with Jesus. That's all I speak. Through these topics. It's the only thing I tell y'all. I'm not the person on the TV that's going to say, hey, blah, 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 blah. And at the end of the, 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 the commercial, they tell you all the side effects. I'm not going to do that for y'all. I'm going to tell you exactly what I feel and what's going on at the time and past tense and all that stuff. You know? So, um, I just wanted to share this with y'all. My name is Joshua. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. I got some new stuff coming in the near future. And um, I'm out.